hello great youtubers welcome back in today's part we'll be adding emergency stop and pull rope switches to our conveyor system let's get started okay so we will have a look at our conveyor system right here so just as we did in the next the last tutorial we have the hopper we have all our conveyors the new thing that we are introducing is the emergency pull rope switch and then the emergency push button why do we need this in our conveyor system now let's say for instance whilst a, a technician is walking along this conveyor he's being trapped by the conveyor the technician should be able or the operators or the workers should be able to stop the conveyors wherever they are to prevent them from injury so to do this we have what we term as the pull rope switch and we can see it in yellow right here there is a rope that is connected to this hook of this pull rope switch to the other section of the conveyor so that it can be pulled whenever you want to stop it that is the purpose of this uh, pull rope switch and we have three of them connected to all the three parts of the conveyor they will all be series and given one input so we have one input for our pull rope switch our emergency switch is also close to the operator panel so that the operator can also stop all the belts whenever there is an emergency okay so now let's look into how we will program this in step seven okay so we go back to our step seven program and then uh, we go to our project which is the fc01 which is our conveyor project i'll double click on it to open okay so in our last part we were able to program the three conveyors to start sequentially today we will introduce our emergency pull rope and then the emergency push button all right so if we look at this uh, logic we realize that if we introduce the emergency pull rope on this particular line we sh should be able to stop all the conveyors whenever they are emergencies so i will introduce a normally open contact here since the emergency pull rope switches on field are normally closed so this is the input to receive the emergency pull rope signal so if we look at the input we've made use of uh, so we've made use of uh, 0 0.1 0 0.2 so we can sorry 0, 0.0 we can go to 0 0.1 so we have i 0 0.2 okay and then the next one is going to be our emergency stop push button which is going to be i 0 0.3 so we can give them a symbolic names so edit symbol so this is going to be our emg emergency stop input then we can give the comment the comment so we click on okay and this is going to be our emergency stop then we give comment to our who call switch also known as the pull rope switch so so pr underscore switch so this is going to be our pull okay so we have uh, our emergency system introduced into our conveyor system now and also we need to add another thing to make it easy for troubleshooting purpose so that when any of these emergencies are activated it should give us an indication that is either the pull rope or the emergency that is activated so we'll add two lamps to our conveyor system so that it will always come on whenever the emergency is activated and also if the pull rope is activated this lamp can also come on so add a new network and this is going to be our pull rope
okay so we have our pull rope indication network so we will introduce the pull rope inputs here now because we want the the lamp to be off whenever the pull rope is activated it's uh, not activated so we need to introduce an output here and it's going to be a pull rope output with use 4.0 okay so we will give this output uh, 4.4 .4, which means which is not used so kill 4.4 and then we introduce the pull rope input contacts on this network and it's going to be a normally close because we want this output to be off whenever the push button sorry the pull rope switch is not uh, activated so this is going to be our pull loop input. This is 0 0.3. Okay, and we can give this one a symbolic name. So I'll name it PR pull loop. And in our comment, we can say pull loop indication. Okay, so we have our pull rope indication right now. We can add a new network or we can copy this and paste since we're going to do the same thing. And this is going to be our emergency indication. Okay, and then the input is uh, I0.4. Sorry. The input is uh, I0.2. So I0.2. Okay, so we have our emergency indicator. We have our pull rope indicator here. And then we've introduced the pull rope emergency into our conveyor system to stop it whenever we have issues and we want to stop the conveyor. Okay, so we can save. And for us to test our system, we need to turn on the simulator. So we go back to this market tech manager, turn on the simulator. Okay, so our simulator is turned on. And because we just started a simulator, we will download all the projects into it. Okay, so everything downloaded, we will go back to our program and we can go online. The PLC is in stop mode, so I have to go back and then put the PLC into run mode. Okay, it's in run mode now. I can now go put on the goggles to monitor. Okay, so we can see that all our conveyors are in stop mode. And the indicators are all indicating that uh, we have issue with uh, pull rope. And then, sorry, we did not change uh, the emergency stop output for the emergency stop. So, Q4.5. Symbolic name to it. So, this is our emergency indicator. emergency stop indication I can now save download again and then I can go online okay so we can see that the indicators are on because the switches are normally closed on field and we need to activate them we need to give them a normal signal before they go off and this section will also be ready to start the conveyors okay so let's have a look it's 0 0.2 so i take 0 0.2 it's closed now and i take uh, 
0.3 indicating that they are now uh, okay on field so the lamps are supposed to be in off state because they are not in alarm now let's demonstrate to start the conveyors i need to the stop push button is also normally closed so it, mostly it needs to be ticked during the simulation it's also closed and then if i click on the start which is momentary switch and then stop it's the conveyor one starts waiting for the next conveyor which is counting down then it also starts successfully and then we wait for the next conveyor okay so we have all the three conveyors running now so let's say in case we have a emergency stop which is 0 0.2 emergency pull up 0 0.2 so which means it's activated on field so i activate it and we can see that the conveyors have all stopped and then the emergency stop lamp comes on to make it easy for the technician to troubleshoot to know what really stopped the conveyors so immediately it's, uh, it's activated the alarm class and then the system is prepared to start again so i will start the system again and then when i activate the pull up switch which is uh, 0 0.3 we can see the conveyor system stops again and let's see which fourth alarm comes on and we can see the pull up switch fourth alarm on to make it easy for the technicians to troubleshoot okay so if we have a look at uh, our system we've been able to implement the pull rope switch and the emergency into our system by using the pull rope uh, switch right here and then the emergency stop push button here as well viewers this brings us to the end of part two of our tutorial series hope to see you in the next video please like and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye